It's Monday already and we have got a busy week ahead. Um, our village is opening a pub and it's the opening on Tuesday and I've been invited to go along and try the food and see what it's like. So I'm very excited. Our village is quite small. Not much really happens here. When you move up from down south, it, it seems like there's nothing going on. Um, we've got a few nice coffee shops and restaurants and things and there are a, new, a few clothes shops um, and it's a little bit more happening than most of the other villages around here but it's still pretty quiet. So we are all really excited about this pub opening. It's going to be really good I think for the village. So we've got that coming up and then I have got a H&M order coming with lots of different clothes that I'm going to be trying on. Uh, I've bought some things for the children and for my husband too. I love shopping at H&M. And then what else are we doing? We are off to uh, Sands End this weekend, which I am so excited about. It is um, going to be our first, one of our first trips away. Or I can't even remember when. I think we went to Devon last summer, so we haven't really been away. And we are going to stay the night. We've invited on a press trip um, to go and stay in a hotel there, and then we will be going to the beach. So I'm really hoping for fabulous weather because at the moment in England, May has just been a disaster. So I'm really hoping that we get the sun shining um, for next weekend when we go. Anyway, enjoy watching um, and make sure you leave any comments about things that you want to see. A lot of people have said they would like to see what I do for my makeup. Um, other people have said that they want to see um, how I do my hair, so like more tutorial things, which I think is quite funny. Um, I've got a lot of fashion stuff coming up over the next few weeks, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I'm going to be talking much more about um, my weight loss journey. And now it's really maintaining it, which is the big problem, trying to maintain it and trying to keep it off. So that is my focus for the summer, basically, if I can. Um, so any tips at all, please do send them my way. Anyway, I must get on. Enjoy watching this and see you all later. Hi, uh, good morning. It is, what is it, Tuesday? I'm just going to try and tuck this shirt in. Bear with me. I am rushing today. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really, I've never really worn jeans. Like before I lost weight, I would never wear jeans. I would always wear leggings because I think when you're pregnant, especially with my first child, that's all I wore. And then after that, I just found it so uncomfortable to wear jeans again. Uh, that I haven't worn jeans, I think, for about 10 years. So when my daughter, my eldest, first saw me in jeans, she was like, what are you wearing? She was so confused. Um, but I'm in love with these jeans. They are from Marks and Spencers. They're called Ar the Ivy jeans. But I now have them in size 16, size 14, size 12, and then these are a size 10. Luckily for me, they're only £19.50. Otherwise, I think I would be annoyed buying them all, all these different sizes. So I'm just tucking the shirt in now. But I'm trying to do a little rouge up effect like that. Anyway, so I've got my jeans on. I don't know if you can see, but I've got my uh, cruise shoes on, which are wedges. Can you see that far back? I'm not quite sure what you can see. Which I find really quite comfy. Um, and I'm trying to wear heels more because... I think it just makes me feel so much better and more confident wearing heels and putting makeup on, doing my hair and putting lipstick on. So I'm literally uh, going to town with trying to get dressed up because today I am going out to the opening of a um, restaurant that is opening in our village. I'm going to move you back now, a bit further back. Um, which has opened, so this week it opened, so I'm really excited. We live in a really small village, um, just off the A1 in Yorkshire, and there's literally not much here. Ooh, let's just turn that off, that's annoying, isn't it? I don't know how to turn it off, there we go, silent. Um, and there's not much here, there is a few uh, little shops, a few coffee shops, and I remember when I first moved here, I was like, there's nothing here. And I, I always remember thinking, Dan South, there's so much happening. And up here, it just felt like, 
you know, we're missing something. And one thing we were definitely missing in this village was a gastro pub. Down south, there are so many nice pubs. And up here, I'm just jumping over the bench, there really isn't. Um, they're just, they're, they're really hard to find nice pubs with really nice Sunday lunches. And for the last six years, I think we've really struggled. There's a, there's a few that we've been to, we were like, this is really lovely food. Uh, but we have been dying for something like this in our village and I think this is it. So today is the opening. Uh, the pub is called The Crown and it is in right in the centre of our village. Uh, everybody is so excited. Um, I've been invited to the opening and so has a lot of people on our road. So all the little old ladies um, are so excited because they're going out for lunch today. Uh, so I can't wait to see them. I love all the little old ladies on our road. Tomorrow we've got a coffee morning um, with the old ladies. Um, and we rotate around the houses and it's actually in my house so I need to clean my house. Uh, before they all get here. They're all coming tomorrow, but we normally rotate round houses probably about once a month. It tends to be me and there's a few there's a two other young girls. I don't know if I'm, caught, I'm considered to be young anymore, but uh, they sometimes come if they're not, they freelance, they're working from home, so they sometimes pop in and, um, and we all just have a little chat and catch up and obviously we've not seen each other for so long now because of COVID. We used to see each other when we did the clapping outside, which was great for the NHS and the key workers. Um, and we would take out our big pans and clap, so we'd see each other then. But then we haven't really done much because that kind of stopped over winter and then we haven't seen each other for ages. So this will be a, like a proper catch up, so that's tomorrow. But going back to today, I am getting dressed up and to go out for lunch. And I haven't been out for lunch for, in fact, I can't even remember the last time I went out for lunch. Like I literally have no idea when it was. And I'm actually going out on Friday for lunch too. It's not good for my diet, is it? Um, but today is sampling the menu that they are going to be putting on for the restaurant. Um, so I can't wait. It looks amazing. The interiors look and they've done it so nicely. So I'm so excited, can't wait. So I will take you on a little tour and show you around when we get there. Uh, so you can see what it's like in case any of you are up here and you want to go and see um, see what it's like. Right, I'm late, so I better go. Have a fabulous day. Um, I feel like I'm on Instagram, have a fabulous day. <laughs> I don't need to say that on here, do I? I think it's recording now. What did she say that was? Chorizo, white beets, and peppers. That, it looks really good. Do you like white bait? Do I like what? Do you like white bait? Uh, I think so. I think so. I like chorizo and I like peppers. We are, we're here in this. I'm just going to turn around here. We're at um, our new uh, restaurant that's opened in our village. Can I, can I see around here? This is apparently called, what do they call it? The green room. I will show you later on a bit more of it. Just looking at the menu, here it is, this is the crown here. This is one of the pieces from their main menu, but they're just sort of doing little samples today. So this is steak here, uh, with salad with it. Laura and Raph are playing. What are you doing? Building the... Marble Land. The Marble Land. Is that what we call it? A Marble Land. Wow! I think you need to build it... A Marble Run. A Marble Run. Sorry. I'm completely not with it. You're building. We, we're we trying to um, set up to have coffee and tea. We've got some of the our little old ladies. When I say old, they're about... Oh, they're knocking out. They're here. Oh my God. They're on time, they're early, of course. Um, we've got um, a few little old ladies coming to have a coffee. We haven't seen them for about a year and we rotate around the houses and they are here. I've just realized I've not got a top on. I better go. <laughs> These are the small ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, well the big ones are not gonna fit you, no. are they? I think they're quite nice. Do you want them skinnier? Turn around, no, let's have a look. these are really skinny. They, they're quite high, high yeah. uh, up. I know. 
cute. Yeah, but they're high. Uh, what I mean is they're high waisted. Yeah. Do you want them high waisted like that? Yeah. What are they say? I am a dude now. You're a dude. <laughs> they say skinny waisted. I am a dude. I do like them. Yeah. Yeah. Try. It. What about the t-shirts? The t-shirt. Yeah, it fits. It's a just, little bit long. Yeah, it's a little bit long. It's, it's fine. Like that. That, oh, that's really long. I can wear it as a dress like Laura does. Is that what it is? Right, let's try on something else. Yes. Okay. Oh, right. right. Let's get let's get some more out of the box. Let's try. And here we have Phoebe modelling. You do your catwalk model walk. Can you do it? <laughs> okay, stop there. Well, so what is it? It's like little hearts. No, it's a draft. It, no, it looks like hearts. No, it's a draft yeah, print. The, oh, the heart. Oh, right. I quite like that. So that's in a set. What other ones came with it? Pink. Yeah, that one and this. This one. one. Yes, yeah, these are good. So these are six to eight. They fit though. They fit. I think. It, well, I think it just comes I'm up quite, big. Apparently, I'm small for an, um, a nine-year-old. I think you are quite small for a nine-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Have you seen the swimsuit? Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. I like this one. The yes. the green one. Yeah. So you've got the green one there and what else? Oh, there's a blue one. Look, I thought if you wear this one, this is one that I've got for me. I didn't see that. We can match. Do you yeah, want to match me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? You want to try? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. I'm not going to put mine on now, though. You can try it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Raph, what are you reading? What is this? Dinosaurs. Oh, the dinosaurs. Oh. Is that your favourite? Oh, it's quite a good one. It's got little flaps. Yes. Open it, show, show your mummy. What's inside? <gasps> Surprise! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. That is, that did scare me. Oh, uh, uh oh, we've now need to go, we're gonna go and do some photos, Raph. Yeah. yeah, should we go and do some photos? Are you gonna help mummy? Yeah. He's not sure about this, is he? <laughs> we're doing, yeah, we're doing a reality shoot here. <laughs> because all the stuff in the background, and I would never normally do this for Instagram, would I? But I feel like I thought to show you a little bit of real life, like this filthy tablecloth. So I am, we're about to go and do a photo shoot, Laura and I. Laura's wearing a beautiful red dress, you mm. say. And I've got this new cardigan on from River Island, which again, I don't ever shop at. But it reminds me of a bikini I had when I was like 15. Uh, in fact, I think it was from River Island. Really? Maybe. Yeah, I can't believe it. It was definitely on a, in fact, I think I still have it. And it, it had this pattern, but on a bikini and on the bottoms. Nice. I'm sure I've got it somewhere. Anyway, so it just reminded me of that. And I just thought it's quite cool for summer. Look at, oh, I didn't realize it's got slits. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh. I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we were just discussing when you would wear this for drinks, we think. For drinks, yeah, yeah. If we're going to go out for dinner. So it's and. It's a shame we don't go out enough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I, I quite like it. I think I might need to keep it a bit more close like that to hide my stomach. Ugh. But anyway, what do you think? We have just been shooting here with the wisteria. Wisteria is my favourite thing in the whole world. Well, we've got quite a lot of flowers that are my favourite. Uh, but I absolutely love wisteria. And my dream is one day to have a house with wisteria all over it. I will like I feel like you're in heaven look at that so we've nipped down the road um Raffi and Laura are walking back now down there down there and I've just been taking some photos of um Laura as well she's my assistant not only is she the au pair she's also an amazing photographer I'm literally trying to teach her how to take photos of me she's really good so I don't know what I'm going to do without her actually she's going back in the summer home I feel like I'm going to have to stock up on all my images um, or try and get my sister to take images should be very good at that anyway we are off to short shoot more footage footage photos uh for a photo for i've just been sent lots of different clothes and so i need to get them photographed and then edited good morning um it is friday today and i'm out in york i am off to meet a fellow instagrammer 
and I will tag her account in the description so you can go and find her. I haven't met her before, so I'm a bit, a bit nervous. I don't know why, we chat a lot on DMs and she's been so nice and so helpful. She's like, she seems to like really know her stuff. She's amazing. So I can't wait to wait, wait to meet her and uh, also meet her little baby as well. We can just carry on walking. We're in York. Here we are, this is my favorite street. so nice it's not actually raining for once it's not that busy either no <laughs> oh there she is I'm not doing a photo, Matilda, I'm doing a video. <laughs> Where's the sun gone? It's gone in. The garden looks amazing. So we have been invited by Wraithwaite to come and do a press day. So this is our bedroom and we actually have the children with us um so i love this bit look here is our interconnecting door um which takes us through to where the children will be staying in here so we've got a double bed here where the girls are going to sleep and then a little pull out bed here for raf um and then we've just got that door obviously that joins them together so we could be separate if we need to be but obviously have it open when you know they need us um, in both bathrooms we've actually got this is this this is a small bathroom in here we've got a bath uh, with a shower in it you see around there all very kind of new and, and then if we go back into the other room which is in here I will just show you the bathroom that we have inside here just so you get an idea and we've got a separate big bath and then around here is the big shower which looks great um, we've also got a little outside area as well which is quite nice so when you go up these steps we've got like a um, seating outside um, so you can it's out here and we're actually in the old bit of the building so some of the rooms have got balconies and the gardens go right up the back there which I'll show you so you get an idea but we're actually in the old part which is really nice if I come around here you'll see up there this is the old bit of the building and then they've sort of extended it either side and around the back with a modern building which you can just sort of see over there Anyway, it's rather lovely. I'm glad I've managed to show you before they all get in it and start jumping on this bed. Um, they've left a card for us um, with a little welcome message, which is really quite sweet. I love it how they've called me Dr. Caroline Smith as well. I have told them I'm not the doctor, <laughs> uh, but my husband is. Um, and they've also left some chocolates, which I'm going to steal before my children do. How lovely. Good morning. Uh, we've just spent a really lovely evening at Wraithwaite Hall and I'm now sitting in their garden and it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to turn around the camera so I can show you. Um, but it's got a beautiful like almost like a lake, a river running right through it and then the gardens are just wow. 
So I'm just sitting out here, it's so quiet, it's really, really lovely. You can see up there, there's a big bridge as well. I stand up, I can show you at the top there. Can you see right up there? And then the water comes all the way down here. And then all the gardens around there, you can walk up around. And then there's walks that you can do all the way around as well. But it's literally just wow out of this world. It's very magical. Lots of little seating areas as well, like inside all of this area here and all down here. And then behind me, then this is the hotel here. So you can see there's loads of people sitting up there on the terrace as well today because it's literally the most stunning day we've had in May. I can't believe that weather in May has just been shocking. Um, and now, finally, at the end of May, the sun has come out. This is for weddings. So they have a big wedding space underneath and then the pool behind it at the back there. So there's like a swimming pool with treatment rooms and things. And yesterday we went swimming with the children. They absolutely loved it. You have to book a slot, obviously, for COVID at the moment. But like, how stunning is this? Beautiful. Today we're at Brunswick Bay and it's so lovely here. I've never been here before and I don't know why. We've just never come up this far and everyone always talks about it and I can see why. It's literally stunning. It's a bit too cold and see. Oh, there's a person there. Phoebe is huddled up over there. Can you spot her with the towel around her? It is a bit breezy. And then we have the opposite over here. And Matilda in her swimming costume. She wants to go in. I said no. It's far too cold. It's freezing Matilda isn't it? Absolutely freezing. Is it cold? Yeah. Is it freezing? Are you freezing? Yes. Are you freezing? This is Stades and it's got like a little road like this full of little shops and houses, all very higgledy piggledy but very pretty. sweet and then it's a little bridge look at all the boats it's so sweet 